Kirk, the Texas Longhorns, losers of two straight games. The ship is sinking over on the 40 acres. Today we're going to play three questions entering the big showdown in Lincoln Love against it. the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Okay. Number one, this rip. is a big question, right. Doug. I'm ready. Has the Texas fan base abandoned ship only five games into the season? Yes. Yes, they have. I, I see so little buzz over this game from this side of the Red River. I think there's tons in Lincoln, but I just think the fans have all but checked out. I think the season's over as far as the fans are concerned. Now, they turn around and beat Nebraska. Oh, that bandwagon gets heavy Back again. Back on the wagon. But yeah, I think the fans feel like the season's over. Number two. Taylor Martinez, one of the most dynamic quarterbacks this side of Denard Robinson in Michigan. Give me a stat line and how do the Longhorns fare against this blur of a quarterback? Not very good. Uh, they don't nickname this guy Taylor Swift for nothing, which is not a real great nickname, by the way, if you're a football quarterback. Uh, I think he's, they're going to contain him at times, but he's going to break loose because he's that good. He's like a Tommy Frazier, you know, he's terrific, runs that offense. So I bet he still runs for about 150 yards, even though maybe wow. they do a good job against him, at least containing him for a while, but he's going to break loose eventually. Last question, and this is a big one. Okay. Is this a blowout? Well, it depends on your definition of a blowout. I think uh, Nebraska is going to win. This is a holy war for them. They've been looking forward to it for 10 months. I think Nebraska wins by at least 10 points. 10-point game sounds close. The Longhorns, if they can stop T-Magic, it sounds like Texas may have a chance to win this call game. Call it. Call it upset right here. I'm calling it right now. You Nebraska heard it here first. Nebraska wins this game. What a 